Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, free site, DwyerVIP.com, free site. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. I'm going to back away from a video that I placed. I recorded it uh, a few hours ago. Since then, I've learned that some of the information contained in that video was inaccurate. It's on the David Hay, Tony Bellew rematch. I was under the mistaken impression that he was working with Shahid Saluki as his trainer, a trainer who has an aggressive style, right? Who um, has fighters who open up a bit. The trainer for Lehman Brewster in his uh, watershed win over Vladimir Klitschko when Vladimir Klitschko was in his prime. That was incorrect. I got my trainers confused. He's actually working with Ishmael Shalas, a different type of trainer who emphasizes defense, caution, and pacing. Right Now, I expect David Hay to win this fight by knockout, but let's just say I would have preferred for him to be with Lehman Brewster's old trainer. Right, I believe David Hay's best chance of winning this fight is to raise room temperature. It's to up the ante. It's to remind Tony Bellew that Bellew doesn't have his punch, doesn't have his hand speed, isn't the athlete he is. Right? I want David Hay to throw caution to the wind and to force Bellew onto his back foot. I'm expecting Bellew to fight the fight on his back foot in any event. Force Bellew onto his back foot, corner Bellew, and then to derail him just like Adonis Stevenson derailed Tony when they met years ago. That video is up on YouTube, right? Tony is an excellent fighter who makes adjustments, but he's formulaic. In other words, you know what he's going to do. He's a guy who, if you can get his train off the tracks, he derails, right? So um, I think that's the way David Hay has to fight the fight to get the results I want, which is Hay by KO, right? The bet I'm recommending here is David Hay by KO, hedged with Bellu simply to win if the odds allow it. But let's just say now that I know who the trainer is, right? Now that I've been corrected, now that I realize that it's Ishmael Salas and not Shadi Saluki, I'm not as bullish as I was when I posted my earlier video um, earlier this morning. Okay, I like David Hay in this one. I think Hay has far more talent than Tony Bellew. Let me say, too, that I believe Hay is this close to another reign as heavyweight champion. Quite frankly, I view Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua as green to the point where Right? Joshua's left hand gets completely taken away from him by Joseph Parker in their fight that went the distance. Right, I don't believe that happens to a seasoned fighter. I wouldn't expect that to happen to David Hay unless he's fighting on one leg. Right. Also, you look at the Deontay Wilder fight. Um, Wilder's always living off plan A, a straight right hand. Right. He's not a guy who's going to set up something else. So, you know, I view Alexander Povetkin and David Hay as very close to, another, to um, another heavyweight reign. In other words, I think if David Hay is in against Deontay Wilder, Hay's going to know to look out for that right hand, right? Is Wilder going to know to look out for all of Hay's punches, right? I'm telling you, Hay hits harder than you think. He's one of boxing's better punchers. In any event, I like David Hay in this fight. I'm expecting Hay by stoppage. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section to this video. Let me say, too, if you saw my earlier video, let me be the first to say that video has a big error. Right? I thought Shadid, excuse me, Shahid Saluki was Hay's new trainer. Right? Ironically, Saluki has said a lot of bad things about Hay in the past, right? Saluki was actually in Audley Harrison's corner against Hay. So I thought Saluki was going to tighten up some things on Hay 
and have hay being more aggressive. But it's actually Ishmael Salas, right? A fighter who has helped some other guys in the past, right? Danny Green, etc., whose fighters tend to be a little bit more cautious, other than Jorge Linares, who he is apparently split with. Anyway, that's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I still like Hay in the fight, just not as much as I did when I was under the mistaken impression that Lehman Brewster's own tra old trainer was Hay's current trainer. That's how I see it. I look forward to your comments.